Fraser Campbell looking to make a run. He's just looked as if he may have gone offside. But here's Shaxton Irving and he scores! Well, Hull City, they've been brilliant in this second half. They've responded well to the Brentford goal. And Jackson Irving makes well, it 3 1. Wilson, but the left winger for Hull coming forward, knocks it past Hanley into the penalty area. Jackson Irving for Hull puts it past Gunn and into the corner of the net. And that goal has been coming. Hull have been rampant at the start of this game and they finally take an opportunity. Jackson Irving, the Australian, breaking into the penalty area. For once, Hanley was caught out. Irving takes the chance. And in the sixth minute, it's Hull Great. 1, Norris for City. Campbell, Evandra, good ball, Irvine! His contributions have deserved a goal, and the Australian comes up with an equaliser. The Tigers have not curled up in a ball tonight, they have come back fighting. Again, it's another lovely ball from Evandra, and a good clean connection from Jackson Irvine, the ground may have just helped him there, unmarked at the back. That's always going to cause you problems if you're in the Rotherham United defence. Jackson Irvine makes it 1-1. Now, Campbell. The Tigers have opened up Rotherham here. This could be the perfect start to the second half. Jackson Irvine once again makes it Rotherham 1, Hull City 3. And the Tigers are rocking in Rotherham now. What a start to the second half. Smiles, ecstasy and delight. Campbell's little ball into the path of Bowen. No marking on Irvine again. You would think Rotherham would have learnt their lesson, but they haven't, and they've been made to pay again. Good header down. It's Evandra. Irvine's got plenty of fresh legs, and he's in on goal here! 2-0! Game over! Three points at the KCOM Stadium. Off the bench. And on the score sheet, Jackson Irvine, it's Hull City 2, Ipswich Town 0. And Chris Martin's involvement, followed by the flick from Evandro. Could open up Irvine's defence, good cross, Irvine! Into the box, and right on the spot, it's Jackson Irvine who puts the Tigers in front. Not many chances in this game at all, but when an opening finally occurs for the Tigers inside the penalty area, we come up with the goods. Irvine gets up there, good header again. A lovely ball from Grzycki to find Kings, who just floats it in delicately. And the first piece of goalkeeping that Declan Rudd could potentially have had to do. He had no chance with that one. It was headed. Grzycki angles it in once more. And it will be turned in surely now. And Scott Duncan points to his watch. It says goal. And the Tigers are back in front. And I'm pretty sure Jackson Irvine has delivered again. It's Irvine's touch. It's over the line. And now the Tigers' perseverance and determination to keep on getting forward in the second half phase off. Well, Grzycki just striding on, looks to play it in. Irvine! What a finish that is from Jackson Irvine. Nine minutes of the second half gone. And he did not need any other invitation in this game. His first shot, Jackson Irvine. And he has laced it nicely into the bottom right-hand corner. And that might mean Bristol City season ends here. Smiles on his face, Lloyd Kelly trying to poke the ball away, but he only got it into the path of Irvine, who didn't even need a touch. He does really well on the left. Quarter of an hour gone. All good so far for the Tigers. Bowen. Oh, he's carved it out beautifully! And Jackson Irvine nods it in. Textbook open play from Hull City. And a quarter of an hour gone. There is now daylight between the Tigers and Reading, who look at each other. We're about to tick into the final minute of normal time. Irvine, he's done it! It is like 2016. It's happened again. And Hull City take the lead.
It sends the Hull City fans into Loftus Road lunacy of celebrations in the away end. The final minute of normal time and Hull City might just have robbed QPR of any spoils in this fixture. They have had to be patient, the faithful, but now they can celebrate. Delightful delivery by Jared Bowen. And the only man picking up Jackson Irvine was the invisible man for QPR. There was nobody in blue and white shirts around him. He squandered a couple of chances like that in the last couple of weeks. But this time, when it mattered, he took...